Hey guys, welcome to Loudly Creative again. This is a testing one two one two uh, trial early in the morning, picking up El Pais. First article: the opposition does not include themselves in dialogue with Maduro in Venezuela, meaning that they're retracting for those conversations they've been having at the main table at the Royal Palace of Governance, due to the fact that it hasn't brought many results to the activism found and the uh, oppression of that activity on the streets where peaceful protests uh, usually lead to escalating events of uh, cruelty and abuse from authorities that are governed and led by the government. So one thing is what is said and although the dialogue in political stand might be uh, transparent through the mediums they are applying for the people to see, it all appears to be an act which doesn't uh, require any furthering for the opposition due to the fact that they don't suppose it's bringing results on the streets where yesterday for example 200 students were captured by the guard and imprisoned as they protested in front of the NATO uh, tribunal council uh, demanding participation from external uh, countries uh, which are more developed in their democratical experiences due to their past historical victories over wars and disputes of lands that may lead to uh, the satisfaction uh, demanded from uh, the poverty uh, developed in a uh, nation such as Venezuela for the representation of a democratic uh, dissolution of what today is considered a normal uh, instance in that developing a nation of uh, vast uh, resources uh, in capital for production of advanced uh, nations but culturally uh, backwards in their mindset of believing that still uh, fighting will lead to union when for example in Russia although uh, union has been made through separatism there is still much doubt on the stability of the region as we speak. Also, there was a slight uh, link to an article demanding that there be justice investigating uh, Cristina Fernandez in Argentina for her advantages on Chevron. I have not had the chance to get there, but it is quite interesting to follow this up. We had uh, covered Bratchelet's visit uh, lately, uh, two days back on uh, Tuesday, and where we found that she was negotiating with um, her fellow uh, leader from the region to uh, expand trade. Now we find that Kishner is being uh, accused and is demanded investigation with uh, the trial of Chevron business at Argentina. Also, on a highlighted note, there's a two-page uh, spread, which is interesting. It distances ourselves a little bit from the Russian crisis, but it may be well needed to cool down uh, the events that have been transpiring in Russia, which are stagnant as of now, although there was a wild disturbance recently where a uh, toll of activity between uh, defending parties uh, armed parties uh, engage in conflict and plenty debts were uh, uh, risen through this means. Meanwhile, uh, Moscow has not announced that they have any intention of taking the separatist nations of Langosk and Donetsk uh, anytime soon and this is bringing a little ease to uh, the European Union uh, which is attentively watching over this event. But as I said before, uh, El Pais today, on international note, has a relation to the European Union and other conflicts coming from the South. This time it's about the immigration reform that has been uh, today uh, risen in the minds of uh, the governance of the region due to the fact that numbers have risen in a great amount from the Mediterranean uh, borders, this being specifically the central region of the Mediterranean and the western uh, region as well. The numbers are equal to the highest uh, wave of emigration to that nation, immigration to that nation, and compared to 2011 where the 40,000s has been calculated and announced at Brussels. This impact has definitely been a concern of the European Union for a time now, but it's significantly being pushed for reform within the borders, whereas in fact Italy, for example, has to engage in extraordinary 
deficits on their spending to protect their borders from immigrants from regions that are in conflict externally. One of those resolutions that has been planted is to apply significant measures such as the ones uh, tested in Morocco which have worked uh, lightly due to the fact that from Morocco and its region 2000 have made an attempt at getting to Europe while from the Mediterranean Central 25,000 affecting Italy directly at a greater number than the Spanish Peninsula but they are not the only ones affected also Germany Switzerland and Nordic regions because of their popularity and their solid economies are the ones that usually receive the utmost weight of these uh, illegal immigrations due to the fact that once they are absorbed into the culture uh, immediately for their abilities to work at low cost which is needed at the European Union right now they are definitely also a burden of the economic change and usually land in the south but travel to the north where they settle. Uh, this has been loudly creative uh, giving you a resume uh, intake on Today's morning paper from El País edition of Thursday, May 15, 2014.